Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel, Apple Tree. I'm Elena Milak Rutis, bringing to you general messages in regards to you and your person for March 2024. I've already pre-meditated and shuffled on your cards and are charged and ready, so whatever comes out is what I'm going to receive. So far we have the Seven of Cups, and it was like kind of like in limbo between upright and reversed. And then we have the Two of Wands, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Pisces, Spirit, show me accurate general messages, please, for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, North, South, East, and West, Mutable Pisces, Man and Woman, Recent Past, Current Energies, was Hidden, and then we have the Four of Cups, Reverse, we have the Eight of Wands, the Strength, Pisces, North, South, East, and West. Spirit, show me what I need to see for Pisces, March 2024. Accurate general messages for Apple Tree YouTube, please. Thank you. Pisces, North, South, East, and West. And we have Six of Wands, Page of Cups, Reverse. Pisces, accurate general messages, potential outcome. Okay, we have Three of Swords, Reverse. For some of you, we have the Two of Cups, Reverse, the Full Reverse, the Hangman. And then this card here, the Queen of Swords reversed. All right, that's a lot of energies, but I'm going to take it. I hope you can see it on the on the camera. Can you see all of these energies on the camera? Okay, let's get into it. It's a lot here. I'm going to speak really quickly because I think my phone is running out of space and it's about to die. So I want to get as many messages as possible before um, I won't be able to. Okay, so let's get into this. Okay, so Pisces, receive what resonates, leave what does not. You know, I feel like someone is starting off with um, realizing that everything that glitters is just not gold. The Seven of Cups want to come out uh, in between upright and reverse. So to me, it is definitely a reality check here. I feel like some was like really focused on, I don't know if it's you or the person you're with or whatever. Someone's really focused on the superficial materialistic things in life. And I feel like it caused a person to really indulge, overspend, and just fantasize and live in a dream world. So someone may be finally starting to act decisively to see the correct path more clearly. Um, I feel like some of you have felt a little indecisive or a little lost, but there's a reality check that's coming for you and this person. And I feel like for now, some of you feel like you have a lack of options or choices or missed opportunities and feeling a little restricted in some way. Maybe you're in a relationship where um, after a period of avoiding reality, you're getting that reality check. And you got to use this kind of clarity to take stock of the relationship and take action to fix any issues that need to be resolved. Because if you're ignoring issues and red flags about a person, it's not going to make them go away. So for some of you, I feel like this person could have limited some of your possibilities. Um, but I do feel like, you know, with the Seven of Cups, it's like some of you feel trapped. Maybe um, you're looking at what options you have or the person that you're with feels a little bit trapped. They're focusing not enough on their goals. They're focused on the past. And I feel like they're dwelling on what they missed rather than taking proactive steps to create opportunities for themselves now. And it's time for them to be very decisive about uh, financial matters is someone who also has a poor lifestyle choice when it comes to their, their health because stress can take a negative effect on their health. Maybe they're overindulging or binging on food, alcohol, drugs, you know, um, and it's time for this person to really get back their control. I think it's really difficult them, difficult for someone to stop their negative indulgences, whether that be gossiping, you know, whether that be um, overeating, over drinking, or doing something that is not beneficial productively to live longer here on earth. So I feel like there's someone that needs to speak to their doctor to get into a health or fitness that, you know, and even if they get into some kind of fitness, they could be overdoing it as well. But I do feel like um, moving on, there's a full and reverse energy. And with the full and reverse energy, you know, that that was an energy that was in the Sagittarius reading. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, the Aries. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo is heavy, Ca Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, like yourself, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It doesn't have to be, but our sign is heavy on the table for someone that you feel is kind of like stupid when it comes to making a lot of decisions in life that affects them later that they don't want to be held accountable for. It's like a recklessness, a carelessness that is kind coming back around to bite them in the ass. I feel like for some of you, you feel like uh, 
uh, yeah, there is a beginning that you, uh, you took a risk with this person and now it's like you're reluctant to jump into any more risky energies with this person. I feel like this person was or is or will be behaving somewhat recklessly towards others and, and that's very, you know, being irrational and it just takes away the fun and it takes away the faith. And I feel like for some of you, you feel like this person could be holding you back from that peaceful, soft love that you really want because of their anxiety, it could be causing a lot of uncertainty in the relationship. And I feel like things were really exciting and then it involved some risky behavior. So it's a warning here where um, the fizzle, the spark is like dwindling out and then things could lead to feelings of insecurity and it could cause the relationship connection to be on shaky ground. So I feel like um, there is energies here where, you know, don't be afraid to put yourself out there and assert yourself, Pisces, um, and don't be afraid to speak up and you don't have to take on everybody's burdens, you know. Someone is going to have to have a choice. The two of wands is definitely here um this is two paths i feel like your person has a choice and it could affect you um you know we have the the two of wands like two decisions options planning someone thinking maybe the grass is green on the other side always causes a person to be very competitive very um you know ungrateful for what they do have very lackluster and it's a lack of contentment when you're constantly competing or trying to keep up with the joneses and not watering the grass on your own side i feel like for some of you you're dealing with someone who has options and it's do i stay or do i go you know whether this be immigration i know a lot of things are going on with migration or do I just relocate again do I uh, stay put do I go for another queer so that's a lot of anticipation and waiting for some of you this is um, something that you're waiting on regards to um, something that's causing a lack of contentment in the relationship and I feel like someone's feeling restless your person's kind of withdrawn or detached and you could like sense that and I feel like it's because um, for some of you this person could be cheating they have a choice they're talking to you and someone else um, for some of you, this is a choice to travel, um, considering going traveling or staying put. I feel like for some of you, it is a choice. Um, you know, someone's torn between security, torn between adventure, and um, torn between something that's steady and reliable, and torn between something that's more daring and adventurous. I feel like two paths are available to someone here in regards to staying in a current job or career or taking a new job or career path. I feel like someone has to pick between two positions in a current company or someone is choosing whether or not to expand or to link up or partner with another company. But I feel like this is about financial stability as well. <clears throat> And someone should be trying to find some type of financial balance when it comes to the two of wands. Now, we do have the four of cups that is here. And for some reason, it is in reverse. So I feel like someone is really done with the shoulda, coulda, wouldas and the regrets. And I feel like someone here is looking at the fact that they got to pull themselves out of a rut. And I feel like your person has previously felt a little stagnant, but that could be coming to an end. I feel like it's time. They, they can't They can't just sit and wallow in regret and remorse and wishful thinking anymore on the past. I feel like spirit is making your person or you, Pisces, focus on the present and move forward. And they're going to have to seize opportunities. They're going to have to stay focused. They're going to have to realize the reality check of it all that they've been detached from reality and the world and to get caught up and 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 um this person's been kind of like self-absorbed it's all been about them it's been about them it's been about them probably the majority of the connection and you're like well when is it going to be about me you know what i mean so for some of you you're done fantasizing about what your life could be or wallowing in grief or self-pity and some of you are just ready to rejoin the world you're ready to take a proactive approach and you want this person to step up to this energy as well and let go of patterns or people that are no longer good for them and um i feel like for some of you you know i feel like um there's an energy here where this person has a behavior where they got to need to take responsibility for their choices and accountability and to stop expecting others to do everything for them or to appoint blame on everyone else. I feel like this person has been making bad choices and decisions that has become detrimental to them and I feel like it's a, some kind of period of detachment 
and it's an energy of withdrawn and I feel like it's it's an energy where um this person has been wallowing in heartbreak they've been wallowing for a long time and it's a need for soul searching and it's a need for this person to realize that this energy is no longer working and if they don't step up and realize and take accountability for their own energy you're going to be thinking that this relationship is no longer working for you and ready to let go I feel like some of you are really ready to focus on the positive and move forward you know um some of you you know what abuse feels like you know what it feels like to be verbally abused, physically abused, financially. You know what abuse feels like. You know what overcoming depression feels like. You know what releasing pain feels like. So you see it in this person that this person still haven't done. They haven't been in the dark shadows of themselves to do the healing on themselves because you've been there, done that. So you recognize it in this person that they may need counseling. They may need the healing that you've already gone through. I feel like you have reconciled with your heart and you know what it's, it's all about. Compromising, sharing, forgiveness. It's all about getting over the worst and, and um, letting go of repressed emotions and having that ability to let go of pain. So I see that you see someone is refusing to let go of those damaging emotions that can eventually zap the happiness and the joy out of the connection between the two of you. Some of you know what it feels like to overcome unhappiness, heartache, and sorrow and, and sadness. And I feel like... Um, you you know you've been hurt in the past okay so you've reached compromising at a point where you're able to forgive and let go of past trauma and you just want this person to do the same but i feel like this person needs some some um therapy but for some of you you know spirit is also saying uh to you know if you're dealing with someone who refuses to let go of negative emotions and they're harboring unforgiveness and bitterness and blame then if they don't want uh, maybe you can suggest i don't know um uh, relationship counseling or anger management or some type of something that could help the both of you um, get past the past and move on to something healthier you know I feel like a lot of healing should have already been done but someone is refusing to let go of the damage that possibly have you know come about from their own bad choices and someone who's just refusing to take accountability so I feel like for some of you I feel like this could also you know uh some people tend to overindulge like I said before in ways of trying to hide what is still harboring in their heart so they might overindulge with overspending and it could cause financial difficulties and it needs to be a compromising with lenders to pay back a debt you know some some people may agree on some level of debt forgiveness but I feel like there is an energy where someone could be reaching out for your help with their financial problems and why should you take on the burden of this person constantly when you've already had to carry your own cross you want them to be strong like you had to be strong and pick up and carry their own cross you know you know I feel like it's a financial status due to um you know bad fi immature financial management and I feel like someone needs to accept the situation and begin to take real steps to improve it rather than wallowing in self-pity because also you know you know what it's like to have gone through betrayal heartache pain and all that right so spirit is also saying learn from that past and forgive the past and don't use it as a stick to be others around with like this person over here is doing i feel like their pain has caused them to be very bitter and very sour and and it's also caused some type of form of coldness and, and this person could be like um very dysfunctional in other areas of their life as well where they are lacking in empathy and compassion and they become bitter and cruel and cold and unforgiving and pessimistic and if you see them acting out this way towards others then baby guess what Man, you are soon to be the next victim because how others pe how people treat other people eventually will spill over into how they treat you just give it time they lack empathy for others they could be obsessive and controlling they could be very critical and harsh of other people around them and come across as rude and negative and this person is a freaking liar you're dealing with someone who's a liar they cause their own pain in their life they're you're dealing with someone who's also disloyal maybe you think they're the most loyal person you've ever met just give it some time and i'm not wishing that on you but i'm reading the cards and i'm my cards never lie i feel like this person is just generally deceitful you know and they have a tongue of a serpent and I feel like for some of you this is an energy where um, this could be an Aquarius Gemini uh, Libra this could be a, a Gemini is heavy on the table an Aries Sagittarius Leo Capricorn Taurus Virgo Cancer Scorpio Pisces they can have any of these energies in their chart and they need to deal with issues in order for this relationship to, with you two to continue to flourish long term because if this person's overly critical you know nobody is perfect and I feel like this person needs to realize that they're not perfect either.
And I feel like there's an energy where you just want to steer clear of these type of ugly, nasty energies. Because that's not who you are, Pisces. Don't let someone's harshness and bitterness in their life and their burden spill over into your um, soft energy. Spirit wants you to remain soft. Yes, it's okay to be discerning. It's okay to know when to cut someone off. It's okay to have, you know, healthy boundaries. But don't become bitter and nasty like the person that you're involved with, you know. Because there's a past pain that's stopping this person from fully opening up and being able to forgive and love. And I'm sorry, but if you have a heart full of unforgiveness, how is there room in there for love, right? How, how? So, you know, you, you're you the loyal, loving, kind partner that you're capable of being and you just want the same in return. And if this person is constantly thinking the world is against them and they're gossiping like a Mitch or a bitch against others. And this person did this to me. And like, where's the love? Where is the love? <laughs> I'm hearing that old school song. I don't even know how it goes. But spirits say, nah, -uh. don't let this person turn you to an ice queen. And, you know, I'm hearing the song from Frozen. Let it go, let it go. You know, they need to let let it go. And um, so, yeah, it's okay to cut people off. It's okay to um, have healthy boundaries. But it's you know, the 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 anger. You know, at some point, you got to let it go and rise above, right? You got to let it go and rise above. At some point, you don't want to just stay stuck in the past on what someone did to you or how they hurt you. Or, so, you know, where's the love? Does it fall from the sky? Is it underneath the willow tree that you've been dreaming of? Where is, you know, the love? So I feel like you just want more uh, peace and more softness. You want, you know, for some of you, you're dealing with someone who is um, just... I mean, they, they they could be very malicious, malicious and gossiping, just overly critical, dependent on others. Like if they need you more than they want you, Pisces, like this person probably saw you as like a knight in shining armor, that you've helped them. But how much can you help someone who's not helping themselves, right? So if someone stays stuck and dysfunctional, then it might be something more that's mentally um, dysfunctional, that they need counseling, they need something that's more. Um, you know stronger to help them deal with their trauma because I feel like this person uses their trauma to justify how they drag others down and they're very spiteful and nasty and vindictive and vengeful and this is not you you don't lack empathy for others this person does and they expect you to get on the hate train with them and this is not you it is a choice it is a choice you don't have to uh, following their dark shadows of a person who hasn't even done what they need to do to cleanse and heal themselves like you have done, you know? So rationalize things, rationalize things and follow your emotions and intuitions, Pisces. Um, don't let this person delay your progress on your spiritual path. Don't let this person have you in your mind wrestling with your heart. Your emotions and your intuitions are just as important as your rational brain. So don't disregard them when you're feeling that this person needs some Jesus in their life. You know, sometimes someone just needs to trust God. And I feel like that's the last person this person wants to do because they like staying stuck in psychological, psychological, psychological symptoms that is representing they got some ill health that they're suppressing and um, they got to find a way to release that and they should not expect you to, you know, join in on that. I feel like some of you really knows what it feels like to have freedom and independence of being single and you come on across like you can be bluntly honest and very mature and I feel like, um, I feel like there's going to be someone in your life that's going to be giving you an opinion and it would really help you to listen because it's providing constructive criticism. Well, hey, I, I think that person is actually me. So for some of you, you know, you took a risk on someone, you jumped into something. Now it's a two of cups in reverse where there's disconnection. There's an imbalance here. It's inequality. Um, how much have you given in to this connection? Is it equal amount? I feel like it's an unhappy couple. You know, there's a lot of arguments. There's a lot of um, imbalance. One side in some kind of way I feel like there's a partnership breaking down a reality check that's showing a lack of equality or mutual respect in a partnership I feel like it's arguments with friends or family or business partners or it's just an energy where um, 
it, it, it's, it's falling out, having a fallout, someone, you know, that um, one minute they can't get enough of you and then the next minute they may appear a little bit cold and distance and, and you're just like, oh my God, this is the most psychological, like, challenge I've ever had to deal with. This person could be bipolar, schizophrenic, um, they could have mental disorders, you know what I mean? And I just feel like the arguments, some of you, it could cause an, a broken engagement, a separation or divorce if it's not handled. So I feel like someone could be taking your love and your your care for granted and they need to put the work in on helping themselves you know I feel like you have found yourself where you're ready to draw the line on something I feel like for some of you um someone has become so codependent or they have manipulated you into becoming so codependent that it's creating resentment it's creating arguments in your relationship how many of the things that have gone on between you and this person in this relationship is co-signing your name this person is keeping you tied so that you cannot walk away and it's just it's just crazy how people will actually create an imbalance just to keep someone codependent and in need instead of in want so i feel like um you you gotta rebalance yourself by getting your own emotions get your issues or ego in check don't get on the hate train with this person and that's going to naturally balance out a lot with you stay by water do your cleansing do your healing pray you know what i'm saying pray for this person this person needs some prayer i don't know if they were a victim or they were an abuser but someone is very dominant someone's very controlling and i think they're so busy trying to control you that they're forgetting to control themselves control their temper control their spending control their their anger so I do feel like this person is really um, lacking in balance and it's throwing you off balance as well. And um, some of you, you're, you're, you're the stress, the disharmony, the tension, it could be causing a, neck, a knock on someone's health. So uh, a lack of balance can manifest a lot of physical symptoms such as headaches, migraines, high blood pressure, chronic fatigue. So it's a need to definitely resolve the imbalance in other areas of life and, and see, you know, someone for health issues and I just feel like if you don't have your own money you better find a way to get your own money and open up a bank account that they are unaware of and start putting savings to the side just so they don't you know you don't want nobody using you for your credit or your money because in the long run nothing that nothing is guaranteed but change in life okay so I feel like there is a lack of harmony and balance and um that could definitely cause a lot of problems in a connection that's supposed to be loving and I, I feel like a lot of you are very strong Pisces you're you're very strong this person is like a beast that you have uh, found a way to tame um the strength card is here so I feel like there's some kind of energy where you want this person to overcome self-doubt you have a lot of compassion for taming this person but spirit is saying just keep mastering your own fears and anxieties and be courageous and daring and let this person you know master their own emotions because you can't help them master what they have to do themselves. So I feel like um, we face in relation to our own self-doubt and fears and anxieties. We have to learn to overcome obstacles. And I think that's what is happening here. Where you're taking the time that you need to master your emotions and you're patient and you're compassionate with yourself and with this person. But you just want them to find new confidence within themselves and their abilities. I feel like um, now is the time for you to start taming your emotions. When this person starts getting wicked, tame your emotions. You know, um, someone's got to be the light in the shadows of the darkness. I feel like... Uh, it's not done by trying to dominate the other person, but by gentle, positive reinforcement, encouragement, and compassion, right? That's how you continue to tame the beast that I'm hearing beauty in the beast, you know? But it's an energy here where this person has a bit of a wild side. This person has a, a huge ego. This person can be nasty. And I just feel like... Um, you feel like this person is a bit wild, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, again, don't try to dominate them. Just keep yourself in check, you know what I mean? Just keep yourself in check. I feel like there's going to be a lot of emotional upheaval and a reality check on things that's going to be forcing someone that if there's any problems that you, in the, from the past are going to be having to be faced in the now. And I feel like it's all about freeing yourself. Don't let this person entwine you in anything that makes you feel codependent and trapped. 
that's what they want to do because they feel like if you need them, they got you, right? It's like, and you know, this is the type of person that will compete with the person that they're with. They will compete with you. You want to go to school? They want to go to school. You want to do this? They want to do this. They'll take over a project you started. Like, I feel like some of you, um, it's all about having a healthy sense of independence, even when you are involved. That is very healthy for anyone, you know, with the, um, the Eight of uh, Swords here is about finding a way out and finding a way to free yourself from anything that could become toxic and abusive and and a limited you know um you don't want to feel trapped and restricted and backed in a corner with your hands tied you don't want to become this person's next victim uh you don't want to you don't want to be conned out of your credit you don't want to be paralyzed by fear and i feel like for some of you you're dealing with someone who has psychological issues and very negative attitudes and there could be even a trial by jury or a judgment or person persecution and you don't want your name attached to any of this drama that this person has you don't even want to feel pressured by their crisis that has nothing to do with you i'm feeling like you're taking the blindfold off and you're walking away and you're just you know i'll pray for you you know i feel like there's consequences and judgment that's taking form here and for some of you um with this eight of swords being in reverse you're finding a way to clear your mind you know you're finding a way to stay mentally strong and release yourself from uh, what it has nothing to do with you you know it's an energy where it's like um in a relationship it's all about overcoming obstacles but this person has some burdens and it all comes from their unforgiveness and their nasty disposition like it's like night and day in oil and water i don't even know how you even got with this person i think it's a lot of codependency more than it is like it's more of a strong need more than it is love you know what i'm saying because if someone's nasty to other people whether it be their ex or people they work with or the waitress at the at the dinner it, it doesn't matter that's nasty how do you love somebody who is evil so this are energy where it's like um some of you spirit is wanting to empower you with hope in relation to love and i feel like for some of you you have been in an abusive relationship you know what it's like to have a partner that's controlling you know that it can escalate to extreme you know what it's like to have someone who is manipulative you know what it's like to feel trapped so i feel like you're not going to set yourself up and play yourself in the name of love what's love got to do with it when it comes to a peace of mind when it comes to avoiding criminal charges, when it comes to being an upright, uh, standing citizen, you know, I mean, what does love have to do with it? So I feel like you don't want this person, severe depression and negative, nasty energy to have an effect on your life, on your future. So some of you are going to really start focusing on self. And, you know, it's always good to have your own little thing going, whether you're going back to school, whether you're starting your own business, whether you have your own hustle, your own money, and put it to the side. They don't have to know every penny, every dollar you make, okay? Woo! I just feel like you don't want to be paralyzed by this person's karma, okay? And I feel like spirit wants you to learn to release stress and anxiety and fear in relation to um, things that have nothing to do with you and stay out of. You don't have to be a part of every single drama that they bring. They have a decision to make. And whatever decision that is, it can affect you. Especially if you have quit your job and you're blindly, blindly following this person's blind lead. You know, I feel like uh, you got to stay strong. It's all about finances. It's about mentally being healthy. It's about, uh, you know, um, what, are you, what are you doing to save for a rainy day to make yourself feel more secure in, in your own uh, independent financial security and stability, whether you're involved or not? Because, you know, like I said, the only thing guaranteed in life nowadays is change. And if anything is making you unhappy, whether that be a job, whether that be staying at home doing absolutely nothing but being codependent if it's making you happy and you know you're better than that and you got skills and stuff that the world needs do something about it do something about it start a business go to school do something about it and realize that you can walk away if you choose you can change this if you want to you can release your worries and fear about finances in a much more mentally healthy place by becoming more active and proactive and doing what makes the heart happy some of you are dealing with someone who has ptsd panic attacks depression some of you are dealing with someone who has eye issues i don't know if they need treatment with their eye eye surgery or something or they have like they're going blind i don't know if you're dealing with someone that has feelings of offing themselves and deleting themselves i can't really say the word on youtube i don't want to be demonetized on my channel but for this video but someone could be feeling really like 
unalive in themselves and this is just not good this person's suffering and why do they have to suffer silently when they where there's so many people who have went to school and did research and studies to be able to sit across from you and help you deliver those demons if you can't do them yourself so i feel like some of you need to like um you know uh, you know kind of like gently and reinforce this person on the idea of family counseling speaking to um a mental health professional that they can confide in instead of co-workers family and friends that are not skilled and trained um uh, to help someone with anxiety disorders or d extreme depression or feeling like there's no purpose there's no there's nothing you know if someone feels like they want to give up on their life then they definitely need to seek someone for professional help you're you can't save them you know you you got to save yourself and you are you going to attach yourself to a titanic that you see is sinking or are you going to go look for a, a lifeguard or a lifesaver or a life jacket so and if you look for one for yourself it's okay to look for a life jacket for them too but you're not going to sink and go down with attaching yourself to the titanic i feel like for some of you um, you, you want to be achieving success and goals together. But if this person's so focused on the past and negativity and unaccountability and blame, then how can you be successful together? You know, I feel like you at one point you thought this was your dream partner. Now this is becoming a slowly of a nightmare because this person has some mental health issues. For some of you, they put you on a pedestal. They do all of these things. But I think you're soon realizing that they've done this to everybody in the past before those people woke up to. Some of you are trying to win a promotion, go for a new job or something success. You're trying to complete a project that's going to produce great results. And I feel like this person could be a little competitive with you and a little bit jealous when they see that you're really doing something for yourself. Ignore it. It, you know ignore that demon and I feel like for some of you um you're really good with leadership you're going to be achieving some type of victory but don't let it go to your head Pisces okay there's going to be some type of financial success that you're going to find your finances are on the up and up don't let this person dig into your account Woo! don't let them hurt your credit listen here some of y'all have attached yourselves to someone who has legions of attachments. And I think that, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to have to do what's best for you, your kids, your present, your future. And I just feel like you, you've worked really hard. You're a hard worker. And you, all you want to do is just be successful. All you want to do is just have a partner that's supportive, that you can share victories, that you can be proud of. You don't want this person bringing no hate and, and, and violence and abuse and embarrassments to you. Like, what the F? So I feel like for some of you, you you know you you just want good health and victory and i feel like um you want this person to battle whatever illnesses that is taking toll on them so you can return to being successful and proud and i just feel like there's an energy where you have a leadership quality so leave them to a health doctor a, a mental for their mental disorders but i feel like um you someone's very arrogant and egotistical and fame hungry and diva like and I'm, let me tell you pride comes before a fall pride comes before a fall okay this person's so full of broken promises that you're just sick and tired of it. make your own promises to yourself pisces because you know you're not going to disappoint yourself but if you keep playing the game with this ill person then you might just be playing yourself i just feel like this person's lost some battles they've been unsuccessful they're weak-minded you know this person lacks the qualities needed to endure the difficult times they're more of a follower more very competitive and and um you're a leader you know what i'm saying you're a leader and some people attach themselves to leaders thinking that that ambition, that goal, that that victory, that energy will rub off on them. And all the thing it does is overinflates the egos and the arrogance they already have, which is the root of the problem most of the time. And I feel like don't let them don't don't encourage them to engage you in some diva like behavior, because like I said, pride comes before a fall. But for some of you, there is an energy where um, it's very off putting if someone is, you know, led by their ego and they're lacking in drive and ambition and leadership skills, but they got a huge false ego. So someone really needs to realize that any change needs to happen it, to turn a situation around starts with them themselves and be a leader, not a follower, you know, be a leader and not a follower on this hate train. This person is miserable over here. Something's wrong with this person. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, take immediate action to bring finances back into balance as well. I feel like some of you are really trying to achieve some financial targets and maybe you lost out on some investments and you're trying to assess the situation and take immediate action to get back on track with that and in order to do that you're gonna have to have the hangman energy 
which means just what this card looks like. You're going to have to have some type of spiritual enlightenment. You're going to have to hang upside down and look at the world from like the a different point of view. You're going to have to see life from a different perspective and release yourself in order to be happy and content and not expect someone to correct and right all the wrongs. Like this person is, you know, pointing blame and, and not releasing no negative patterns and holding on to feelings of hate. And I, I just feel like it's time to release the negative, the rigid pre preconceptions. And it's time to look at other options. It's time to make a decision and understand that you don't have to make a decision right now. But eventually things will become clear in time where if you're having financial issues, you'll have a fresh perspective. And uh, maybe there's a lot of anxiety around finances and it's making them seem worse than what they actually are. Um, because, you know, the hustle, the hustle energy can kick in with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, whether you're staying at home and you're thinking of ways that you can do work from home or start a business. I feel like this is an energy where it's all about... Um, the material, the earthly matters, you know, uh, taking care of home, the bills, the laundry, um, you know, it's, it's also being grounded and protective and uh, being honest and truthful and being realistic and discerning and skeptical about constructive criticism and, and listening to it and open-minded and self-reliant and, and doing away with codependency and, and being dependent on yourself and God and suppressing some pains and sadness from past events by healing from them and accepting what you can learn from them and grow from them and gaining much inner strength and wisdom from past experiences. And I feel like uh, this is, you know, you're always defending this person. You're always defending this person. Why, they, why can't they defend themselves? Themselves. You know, you have strong empathy and you're a great person to have in, in, in your corner if someone's vulnerable and they need your help to defend. But at some point, you're not going to suffer fools gladly. If they're in the wrong, you're going to call them out on what they're doing. And you're not going to mince your words. You're going to call them out. But if they're wrong, wrong is wrong. And two wrongs don't make a right. So some of you can have a sharp tongue at times, but it's, it's the truth. And, you know, they say the truth hurts. So I feel like some of you are very independent and capable and you are not, I feel like this person wanted to, you know, um, they wanted you clingy and needy. I feel like that's just not who you are, Pisces. You're, you're a leader. That's just not who you are. Yeah, you're mutable. You can go with the flow. But if the flow is going against the flow, then you, you need to have that enlightenment to know, now. Nah, this is not the path I want to go on. You know, I don't want a hard life. I want a soft life. So you're going to be extremely discerning about who you're in a relationship with, who you're dating, and you're not going to be like over slushy and in your feelings and led by your heart. And I feel like you're going to be more logic and you're going to be looking to see if there's change because change is a verbal. It comes with action. It's not just like I'm the change or I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Well, whatever. It's about being independent while you're together, right? Not codependent. And I just feel like some of you are going to be bluntly honest immature about what you have to say to the person you're connected with and I just feel like for some of you it, it's gonna you're gonna have to provide constructive criticism to help this beast be able to tame themselves and I just feel, feel like some of you are fiercely protective but you need to be fiercely protective of your independence and you need a partner who can understand your need for freedom and complement your life not be codependent and expect you to pay all the bills you take all the credit put all put everything in your name so if shit hits the fan, you you the one that's gonna get chopped up by it. Like nah, no, absolutely not. You want someone who's self-efficient to know enough not to. You are so self self sufficient enough that you don't need anyone. This person needs you more than you need them. You might feel like you need them for your money, but you have abilities to make your own money. You were making your own money before you met them. So what? Nah, the only person you need to be codependent on is God, okay? So I feel like um, some of you could be a little older than this person. Um, but I feel like you you can be very sophisticated and honest and wise. And some of you are very professional when you want to be. And I, and you do well to, to have this person follow you because you are the leader dealing with someone who's a follower. So why don't you be the example of how they need to be? You know what I'm saying? Be the example. You know, be the example getting on your knees so this person can follow you right on their knees and pray and ask God for forgiveness in their heart because this person has a lot of unforgiveness and it's affecting the money it's affecting the joy it's affecting the peace it's affecting their mentality you know um so it's about honesty and integrity and um it, it, some of you are older you're sophisticated you 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 can give solid financial advice 
And I feel like, are you talking to someone that's going to give you some solid financial advice? And it's good to pay attention to that. I feel like, um, you know, some of you might have the gift of gab and that could get you into some good financial opportunities. But um, definitely any repressed emotions may be the root of any health issues that you or this person is dealing with. Suppressed sadness or grief, you know, and you don't want this person to trigger things that you've already healed from. Like, mm -mm. you might be seeing some things in them that you dealt with with your ex and you're like, oh, hell no. So I feel like for some of you, you're finding a way to release these emotions and instead of suppressing them, you want to release them. And like I said, um, maybe a professional counselor can help you or this person release them. Maybe Reiki, um, you know, meditation um, to let go of negative energy. That even if you don't have negative energy, the person you're with is harboring some negative energy and that could throw you off balance. So um, you want to definitely stay in balance and rationalize things um, and follow your emotions and intuitions. And don't let no one delay your progress on your spiritual path. And, um, you know, but trust your gut, trust your instincts, trust your intuition, you know, okay? So, um, yeah, mm -hmm. empathize with others and defend those who cannot defend themselves. But you don't want to defend someone who is wrong because then guess what? You're going to look just as wrong as them. All right, let's conclude this reading. I hope I haven't run out of time and space to upload this. Pisces, March 2024. Pisces, March 2024. Keep an open mind. Yeah, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And this probably might be the most negative person you've ever been involved with. This is someone who's out of the normal type that you've dated before. And you're like, good God, what have I got myself into? Just focus on your money. Focus on your own stability. Focus on opening up a, a, a secret bank account and start your savings. Just in case you got to leave this nut behind. They don't want to help heal and, and change, you know. But I feel like <laughs> keep an open mind, you know. Through God, miracles can happen. Anything's possible. But if this person's an atheist, then they're on their own. And make the effort, you know. You feel like great love is worth taking the steps guided to take. Make the effort. Seek some advice. Uh, professional help. Children. This could involve children. Either this person has children and you have children together as your children. Love life is being affected by children. This could all be affected by the mother or father of their child or children. For some of you, it's unrequited love that this could uh, develop into where this person doesn't change for the better. You know, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep a relationship going if someone's full of hate, unforgiveness, bitterness. It makes them look ugly. It makes the most handsome person that has a dark heart look ugly and flirt you know when's the last time you flirted when's the last time you danced when's the last time you lit a candle when's the last time you did something fun you know what i'm saying extend your lighthearted energy to others let your friends help you ask for and accept support by others past life relationships you've known each other before like i said some of you getting flashbacks to this person and how the past person you know dealt to you and some of you don't want to reconcile with those energies but i feel like for some of you um yeah I just feel like understand and allow yourself to be strong and wise and compassion and empathize with others, but don't defend those who are in the wrong. Okay, with that being said, this is very general. Receive what resonates, like the messages that resonated. Feel free to subscribe here at Apple Tree with me. Stay with me, my love is for tea, Selena. And um, also, um, um, yeah. <laughs> so until next time, Pisces, have a great day and take care. Bye.